any of the terms, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. It's Radio BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It, it's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. Yes, welcome to another week. Joining you live, Joe Franz. Yay, Franz. Fuck oh. Franz. <laughs> Ryan G, is that guy eating again? Shit oh. goose. <laughs> Shit goose. Oh. Picamello. Bam. Oh. Bun in the oven, no back. And break ya. <laughs> Rally, break ya, Looney Woo. First of all, Papa I need to no state back. two facts right now. Oh. Uh, I haven't slept in three days ever since I got back from Brazil. So Party. I'm delirious right now. Yeah. And the other thing is Novak is completely naked right now. Gross. <laughs> you, you can check it out on the, the, Rake, the leak site. Rake says gross, but really he won't stop looking at my dick. Hey, got <laughs> yeah, we're, Rake's getting pregnant. Bro, just looking. It looks like you got a, looks like you got a fucking pregnant. pussy. Rake has herpes just from sitting next to you, Dude, bro. Your bush hair is bigger than your dick. That's, that's not a lie. <laughs> I know it's not a lie. Yeah, speak, speaking of getting pregnant, I'm about to drop some news. Viewers at home, listeners, <laughs> this is, this true. is fucking this worst is news of my you're life. You're gonna go straight out of the gate and say it. Who cares? But don't you think Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. This the boss. You do it, boss. All right, I you're doing it. Up. <laughs> you fucking ass kisser. Just tell him. <laughs> somebody. Don't don't All right, for fuck's sake, just say it. I think it's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, da -da 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 -da. I am gonna be a father. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> and here's the fucking. Cherry on the cake. Go for it. It's by the ugliest broad <laughs> on earth. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> 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 and in the house is another new board, uh, is another new father, Jesse Marger, who's yeah, congratulating us, Nick and Novak. We got the paternity episode here. We yeah. talking about babies <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> just, 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 wait, Jess is my brother, and uh, he just had a kid, and now you turn into a yeah. fucking pussy because you don't go out to the bars <laughs> with him. He's got a fucking baby. He has a kid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Lennon tried to convince me the other night. He's like, come on, man, what are you going to do? I'm like, I got a kid in <laughs> Hey, man, I really wouldn't talk about that because your brother's like, the leak. He'll go home and tell Kelly, and Kelly will holler at me for us saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fitz, Fitz told everyone. No, I'm talking about Kelly getting mad because we say you don't party with us anymore. Oh yeah. And yeah. Kelly hollers at me. Yeah. Like, Novak got you some party party with girl pregnant, and now she's gonna have his. Oh, and man. guess what the due date is? My birthday. <laughs> that, dude, that, oh, dude, talk about fate on your fucking I heard, neck. I heard she was ugly. <laughs> You don't even remember? I don't, know, I, don't know who, I don't know who it is. She lived in my house. Oh, Jesus. She got hit by the ugly truck, man. Oh, God. Dude, oh, my God. Don't talk about the girls, because your fucking girlfriend's the ugliest hell you Oh, my earth. God, you son of a what bitch. What are you talking about? My bitch is no, way hot. I'll set, I'll set my bitch against your bitch on a hot scale yeah. the day of the week. But, but my, my bitch is at home, and yours is at home, and you're in bed sucking a dick right now, and not yours. She's smoking cigarettes out of her asshole. I can't believe you're talking about this right now. I can't believe it. Partner. Who cares? <laughs> You're, right, you guys are dead. Franz's, Franz's girlfriend is in a punk rock band and she rips fluorescent lights out of the roof <laughs> and, and eats them. <laughs> and eats them. Eats and them. carves pentagrams in her titties. <laughs> That's right. And this can all be seen on the up and coming documentary, Bad Luck 13, Portrait of an Outlaw Band, directed by me. Stop <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> Fuck you all. Dude, why would you ever want a girlfriend that's such hell, man, like yeah. that? Dude, have you ever had a chick carve a pentagram into her tits and bleed on you? No, That's awesome. But I have well, a neither have I, but I can imagine it would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> she does it and makes Joe go in the other room while she's like, get the fuck out of here, get the what the fuck. Yo, <laughs> Novak. <laughs> Me and I'm looking at Novak naked right now, I just realized that it would take ten of your dicks to equal Joe's dick. <laughs> yeah, what do you say to that, Novak? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have ticket. <laughs> he got me. I say it's the truth. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Dude, my it. dick is so small. Yo, Seriously. You, Franz could out dick you by 10. He loves to, his fucking faggot. I'll battle you dick for dick any day of the week, 
Well, get over here, hot ass. What are we waiting for? Come on. All right. Man. It's a battle of the boners here. No. Series no, it's not. All right. Not yeah. with me sitting next to Novak. You yeah. battle your boners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like you're not gay, Ray. I know no, you no. like dicks. Oh, my God. Speaking of Raytheon, you had to be there on the plane coming back from Brazil. Oh, no. Okay. Now, of course, as we know oh, on a flight, no. especially a long international flight, everyone wants to be next to the hot girl. So oh, everyone has no. their seats. Here comes the hot girl walking down the aisle looking at her ticket. Oh, it's seat 27D. She looks up. 27D. She looks down. There's Raytheon sitting at 27D. She's like, uh, I'm going to have to sit next to Ray. Uh, I'll, I'm going to keep going. And she, asks, she goes three aisles down and asks some total stranger if she can sit next to them. So I go, hey, you can't do that. Here's your seat right next to me. It's 27D. Sit right here. Ah! She turns around, looks right at Ray, thinking it's him fucking panics and starts throwing her fucking luggage up into the overhead. So in the meantime, when her back is turned, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, stewardess, stewardess, you can't do this. She can't do this. She can't just pick seats. You can't, this is international law. You can't just change seats like that. In the, of the in the meantime, everyone on the flight thinks it's him saying it to Dude, the girl. That was the best, that was the best fucking flight ever because I, we were sitting there at the layover. We had a fucking longest layover ever. And Rab was sleeping on the floor, <laughs> and I just had the urge to put my dick on his face. He got so fucking pissed off that I was I was crying so bad for like three hours. And then I come up and rip uh. Franz's magazine, and he got so pissed at me. He takes my phone charger and starts whipping it around like a lasso. The fucking thing comes unhooked and beams the seventy-year-old dude in the back of the fucking head so bad. But the dude, I was crying. I was. Oh my it was God. funny. It served me. It served me right for being annoyed, but. The funny thing is, Bam had to go to security and get the charger for his cell phone back. And, like, they totally thought it was him. And he was being scorned by all these security dudes and this 70-year-old man just standing there like, You fucking asshole! <laughs> Dude, because it hit that guy so hard, Ron just falls to the ground. And, and I have to sit there and look at the guy. And then he just gives it to the front of the, of the airplane guy. And, uh... And then, I don't know oh, what I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it was so fucking funny. <laughs> Secur security totally thought you did it. Dude, your dick is so small. I know. I never want to fly <laughs> international again after getting dissed by that woman. Dude, my dick was as small as Novak's and like a quarter of a <laughs> Let me see your dick. You're like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. Which obviously means I care. It wouldn't have been yeah. as bad if she didn't look at her ticket, look at me, look at her ticket again, and go as that dude like. Is anyone sitting here? <laughs> if, you, if, if you even have energy to say, yeah, I don't care, sucks. that means you fucking care. Yeah. Yeah. It's equivocal to saying, I care. Yeah. Oh, man, remember when we were flying home from uh, from from uh, Mardi Gras? And uh, Troy, Troy is sitting up. Uh, Troy's the uh, producer of the show. He's sitting there, sitting first class, drinking fucking mimosas and shit. <laughs> and uh, and, and the, the uh. flight was so packed that I couldn't get a first class ticket. And I had a middle seat, and I walk down, and I see these two fat two motherfuckers. Well, Big Mac fat. Dude, they there. were so fat that they were like both sharing the middle seat, and I seriously thought that I was getting punked. I thought that they, I'm like, I'm getting fucking punked. And right then they just rode out, and that was it. There was no lamp. Pinger comes up, and he's just like, Oh, dude. <laughs> and he's like, Dude, I'm gonna eat this. Dude, one that for is you. nothing. So Pinger sat to there it. for me. I, oh, I had to sit man. next to this uh, Indian lady on the on the plane, and she kept burping up curry the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nothing. On the flight to Brazil, fucking Rake was asleep with his mouth open with oh, this fucking God. future swamp breath. Oh, and the dude God. next to him had to sit. I swear to God, four hours of the flight with his t-shirt pulled out. Over his tie and oh, over his no shit, man. No, <laughs> dude, you were a bullshit, no. right? Is no, it bullshit, right? Full of fucking shit, man. <laughs> Do you so deny your fucking flight swamp breath? Your international fucking swamp breath? I was drunk, man. What <laughs> can I say? I was passed out. Dude, it was fucked. Yeah, I see Rake on an airplane, sound asleep with a blanket, mouth wide open, two business people. They were so bummed, and at the end of the flight, they were all sharing chocolates. I don't know how he pulled it off. He's like, oh, these people gave me these. You want them? I was like, what? <laughs> Rake is the type of dude to sit on a flight with, like, a Grateful Dead t-shirt and a fuck you hat with, like, a bottle of Remy Martin all pants out. And, and the person that to sit next to him is just like, fuck. <laughs> Nothing bummed me out as bad as that. That hot-ass blonde looked at me, looked at her ticket, and fucking just split. Oh, <laughs> Check out Rake. Hurt. Not, not that hurts me, but that hurt. But dude, she actually thought you were calling after her. Like yeah. she thought you were, you were, you were asking the fucking stewardess. And this woman, the hottest girl on the whole plane, not only has to almost sit next to me and get out of it, but then she's around 
ten of us, and everyone's laughing at her. Everyone. <laughs> and, and they're like, oh, Triple Z's next to me. Oh, look what she did here. And she's right there. <laughs> like, God, right? That's got to suck. That hot ass girl just totally didn't even want to be near you. And she's fucking right there at all. Uh, so you're used to that, aren't you? So then, then we're, we're about to take off, and everyone's like, do the baby cry, do the baby cry, do the baby cry. Uh, so I do this baby cry, followed by a smack. So it's like, okay, okay, ready for takeoff. It's all quiet. It's like, <laughs> and then followed by, <laughs> and just this major ass slapped my thigh, and everyone on the whole plane. Their head was turned, dude. Yeah, everyone, everyone who was previously thinking, oh shit, we gotta spend a whole fucking flight with a goddamn crying baby. All of a sudden, <laughs> their, their maternal instincts take over. They're like, who the fuck hit a baby? Everyone turned around uh -huh. their fist. Remember, remember when the kid was crying and I was all drunk and trying to sleep? Oh, and I, I just say, I just say out loud, every, every fucking buddy heard it. I'm like, shut that kid the fuck up. <laughs> you know what? Said it. You are an asshole with babies, dude. Some poor kid will be like teething and he'll be like, fuck this baby of a fucking ass. Dude. I'm like, God, dude, it is a child. You know, it does suck. Though. I hate him. You totally know, fucking, sucks. you got what you deserve for ripping. Okay, I'm sitting there reading my National Geographic, like, I'm like in the middle of this whole Albert Einstein expose. It fucking bam yanks the goddamn magazine out from my hands and fucking rips it up laughing. I'm like, you son of a That's bitch. Awesome. So uh, my magazine's all ripped up. I go to sleep. I'm sound asleep. I feel this fucking hand on my shoulder. He's shaking me and he's like, wouldn't it be funny if I wake up rap and put my dick on his face? <laughs> I'm like, fucking no, dude. I'm in the of sleep. He's like, no, it wouldn't be funny. Yeah. I guess the last thing you would talk uh, about in the middle of a dead sleep. He was. We had a four-hour layover. He became his drunk ass. Yeah, he was, he was the, the funniest fucking, fucking thing ever. ever. The whole time. Dude, man. <laughs> I think I laughed for like two hours straight through all by you myself. You were crying, shit, Mac. I was peeking. I was hiding my head under the benches, like where everyone sits and no one could do anything. Bam still stuck his ass between the cracks and farted right on my face. <laughs> <laughs> God, so bad. He had to be held. I'm sitting in the I, house. I, I, haven't, I haven't slept yet since then. Oh my God, you a maniac. I got on the flight and I've been saving these two fucking sleeping pills the whole Brazil trip. <laughs> and, and as soon as I get on the flight, I go to reach in and they're gone. So I had to. I, I was looking so forward to just sleeping the whole time, so I could be like refreshed when I get home. So I had to power the whole fucking flight out. Oop, what? We left at eight at night, and then we got in at fucking noon. Uh, you were a mess. And I, I had to sit there, and I was like, dude, I'm how did, so much. How did you drive to the airport without falling asleep? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're I, now, I, I, I would have. You're driving a Lambo. I, 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 I was. I was falling asleep, and uh, Melissa was late. Well, her bag was fucking taking forever. I sat there for an hour, just like <laughs> sitting there with the car running. Jesus, like trying not to fall asleep. Sitting there in a so I fucking I get out of the shower and we have a Save humongous that. drive. Say that because I want to play rock right yeah. now. All right, here we playing? go. Yes. This is the thing, and this is the best ever because right. CKY just finished their fucking album and it's not even out yet. And being being Jesse is here. High five, Jesse. Yeah. 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 Yeah, brother. Jesse. 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 He grabbed the CD. He grabbed the CD, and we're not supposed to play this. But being Jess is here, we're saying fuck it. This is the new CKY right now. Yeah, the official leak. Familiar. This Familiar is the realm. Realm. This, this is the first high, time man. anyone's Woo! ever going to hear it ever. No, this, fuck yeah! This is the audience. audience. Yes. Thank you. Familiar Slut. realm, new CKY, right. and this is Radio Bam Series 28. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I want to suck Jesse's dick. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Turn off the high five. Holy oh, Lord, I gotta strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes. Because you're listening to Radio Banner on Sirius 28 Fashion. And just say yeah, right. yeah. Oh, woo, 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 my brother sticks so bad. Joining you tonight's show, Frost, Ryan G, also known as Shit Goose, oh. Deco, Bam, Margera, Naked Nomad with a pregnant baby, Woody Woo, Red God, let's go. Oh, not listening right that now. was CKY. That was the best. Dude, that was so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus, I forgot you, Jess. Jess, I forgot you. Thank you. Jess on McGee, Jess on McGee. What was that called, Jess? That was called Familiar Realm. Oh, oh I'm oh, in a Familiar God. Realm right now, Jess. Oh, familiar <laughs> Realm of Pleasure. Is my that, is is that the my first hand. single, Jess? Yeah, it's gonna be the first single. <laughs> What's the second one? Uh, we don't know yet. I bet it's so many fucking questions. Oh, shut up. My <laughs> cock is in my Dude, Jess, if you give me the CD, I'll suck everybody's dick. Yeah, yeah. Start it here. Yeah, give them the CD. <laughs> Not a lot Even to suck. Mine? I'll leak it out. <laughs> GG and Merle. Start with Novak, it's a small meal. Jess, didn't you get Rake the CD? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Rake. 
You came through on that one. The intellectual <laughs> mind wins. Don't come through on me. Yeah. Yo, you know what's so fucking funny? I'm picking up Billy Idol at the airport in the Lambo, oh, and then true. and then he's gonna uh, saw the Lambo into a convertible. Oh my Shut God! Shut the fuck up. up. Yeah. The pleasures of being a millionaire. Yeah, yeah. God, damn. Goes, <laughs> God. Got a sunroof in it. You know how many kids will fucking. <laughs> Oh, Die for that car, it's insanity. Once you cut you're, it off, you're, it'll be worth it. You're gonna break more. so many hearts. <laughs> like right. that exactly. yeah. My heart's broken already, just hearing that. That's the way it goes. <laughs> okay, can I just use your heart's broken quick? from Yeah, Jesse, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting yeah, I'm on the floor and I have a <laughs> yeah, direct view of Novak's asshole. <laughs> what? <laughs> the sickest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, look at Jazz. Oh, come on! Ew, man! That dick is small. Jesse's sitting on the floor. Novak is, Novak is sitting on a chair in front of him, and these chairs don't have backs. Well, so, there's on just, so there's just an ass in Jesse's face, and now G's taking pictures of it. It is so goddamn sick. I have Roger Bagley here taking video of the event. Yo, 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 Novak in the photo of his stack of diamonds. Yo, the first time, the first time Knoxville ever met Compton and Terry, no, they no, didn't no. even meet yet. He, Knoxville gets into the car, and uh, and I'm like, Knoxville, this is Compton Ass. Compton Ass, Knoxville. Knoxville just takes his pants down and shows Compton Ass his ass full. He's like, Yo, you just look fucked up. <laughs> and Compton Ass like, Ew, Mickey, like he was all pissed off. It was so funny. <laughs> Oh, no, that ass is definitely fucked up. I'll tell you that. I guess oh. the next one. Yo, don't the metal militia dudes come here next week? Dude, Dunn's ass is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, get this. We're filming. We're filming a scene. The, the scene for those of you who've seen Haggard. There's a scene where Don Vito has to come in on on Ryan Dunn jerking off to his own asshole in the mirror because he's out of pornographic material. So, we. Don Vito is not an actor. He's a real guy. So we need to get a reaction out of him. So what does Dunn do when? When Don Vito comes in and sees... Oh! 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 Seth! Now, Seth. Now, you're, now you're spilling shit. Okay. What happened there? So here, I'll, I'll sum up this story, please. So, so Franz shoots a 35 millimeter close up of Dunn's asshole just because he mooned the camera when he was done and it was in slow motion. And dude, that ass is so, so infected. It's so red dude, and infected. You could, yeah. you could throw like a quarter straight in You could drop. If, 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 Dunn bent over, if Dunn bent over, you could literally drop a quarter into his asshole like an arcade machine. Hey, what about, what about on, Naked Dave? You know? Remember I had to film Naked Dave in so KY2K? Yeah. 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 The baseball field? That yeah, I remember bad. you were behind him. Uh, yeah. 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 It was. <laughs> oh, okay. Stand no. back. Everyone, everyone, everyone out there in Radio Land, you gotta hear this. Nudie Novak tried to wipe his ass on me, spool the beer, and now he's all worried about, like, getting <laughs> nasty stuff. So he's cleaning up. He's like a naked maid right I'm, now. I'm not even a foot away from his sick <laughs> beanbag. You know, his, he, he's, not, he's not worried that his naked asshole is rubbing up against the nice chair provided to us by the radio station. He's fucking, he's worried about the spilled beer. Dude, your asshole is 2,000 times as bad as the beer could ever be. I forgot to tell everybody that my house is a complete jungle right now. Oh, right? yeah. Like, there's actually vines and shit. We're getting parakeets tomorrow. We're going to get, like, 50 of them. Yeah, be two awesome. cans. Yeah, we need a parrot. A toucan. With that big two cans nose. and parrots and all kinds of shit. It'll be fucking awesome. G loves these pictures so much of Novak naked. He's trying to take uh -huh. them in front of me so I see the little viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get away. I just dude, looked at Dude, he's so fascinated with my dick, man. Like, uh, wow, what's your deal? Tell us now. Are you gay? Are you, are you like, leaked. are you, are you, it's tell me. It's getting leaked. It's are, getting do you like dicks? It's getting leaked, buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Just, who hasn't seen it? Your stack of dimes is going to be on RyanG.com tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, with the paternity story ready to go. It's already hot <laughs> off the press. Did you go shopping for fucking, like, I hope she's not listening, man. Yet? Who? My baby's mother. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fucked up to say, dude. Because <laughs> it's fucked up. Your, baby, it. your baby's mama. Dude, that was over at April's house, right? Crying my fucking eyes out. This is a Pussy. major thing to me. Because I can't even afford a pack of cigarettes. I'm going to take care of a fucking you kid. You're not going to take care of the baby. This That's what all this tells me. I, I, that I baby's going to go through its whole life without ever knowing who daddy Cross is. Lines, man. You're going to be the worst lines. father ever. No offense. I call Bam, right? I am fucking losing my mind. I wake him up 4 a.m. He's you in the zone. I said, Bam, Bam. I'm crying. I'm like, what the fuck do I do, man? I'm having a kid. Me. He's like, be a fucking deadbeat dad. He brought that. That was his best advice. My <laughs> friend's yeah, advice. You have advice. nothing to lose. You wear my fucking clothes. Yes. You drive my fucking cars. You live at my fucking house. You own nothing. Yes. Yeah. So what do you have to lose? Be a deadbeat dad. I just <laughs> 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 Your fucking baby's gonna come out with a needle in its arm. <laughs> 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 
He has like, no, you have no choice. You can't even change a fucking litter box, man. I'm going to worry about a baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's two cats yeah. you can't even take care Dude, of. There's, there's, I love those cats. <laughs> there was this lost dog wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> the little one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it ran in front of me. No, yeah, just go. Yeah. There's, there's this lost dog. <laughs> I know exactly what it does. I know what it does. I make, I make, I make, I make Novak take him to the neighbor's house because I think it belongs to the neighbor. You caught him. He goes there. You caught him. He goes there in his fucking boxers and the first thing they see is his no more fucking heroin tattoo above his dick. They're just like, that's a nice tattoo. And these are like old people who own a farm and stuff. So and they, and so the dog doesn't even belong to him. <laughs> but I guess he just happen. knocks on the door like, I live at Bam's house. I guess and, they, uh, they're like, nice tattoo. You guys are fucking hell. So it gets better. I guess they've seen me a few plays before or something. Oh, so yeah. now they got me fucking holding the dog with two little kids and two grandparents taking pictures with him and shit. <laughs> it was so bad, man. <laughs> I was this close. I was this close to sending him, uh, send him over to fucking get his dad. ass. Father of the year. You're just jealous, fat boy, because you can't even find a girl that wants to kid with you. <laughs> Neither did you. T, <laughs> <laughs> get a picture of this. T, get a picture. <laughs> no, like legs are crossed and his fucking balls are like. Your dick is so small. No, Mac, how did your balls get longer than your dick? No, Mac, your balls are longer than his heart. Yeah, family, this one. Yeah, I piss on my balls. All the time because my dick doesn't even hang over my balls. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll lay off Hannah, that fucking. Hannah, what do you think of that next dick? <laughs> it looks like an acorn on a on a bean bag. What do you think, Hannah? I can't even explain it. <laughs> it looks like, dude, like <laughs> egg rolled off the wall. No, no, that's dick rests against his balls. Like, it sticks, it sticks straight out because it rests against his balls. Yo, I piss on my, that's how small it is. Small it is. I piss on my balls all the time, man. <laughs> Just because my dick doesn't even hang over. Oh, you <laughs> listeners, listeners, please, please, imagine an acorn on a bean bag. <laughs> An acorn on a hacky sack or two walnuts is more like it. <laughs> Yo, where'd you get that sweet ass necklace, Rake? From Brazil, man. <laughs> He's a fucking. That thing looks like hell. <laughs> it is. Dude, that Brazil trip was fucking awesome, man. Yeah, that was Just great. These sandals. Nothing but. Yo, let's talk about Brazil uh, yeah, after I play this song. Nice. I don't even know what fucking song it is. Is it Cradle of Filth? Yeah. Yes. Which one? Oh, Cradle of Filth is coming to Westchester. Yes. And, uh, listen. They're playing on the fucking parking garage in Westchester on June 13th. Oh, nice one, Bam. I'm sure there's like 100 people there. Like. <laughs> and, and, and this is the song that they're going to play, and it's fucking brilliant. Yeah. It's called Devil Woman by Cradle of Filth hey. on what channel? Oh. Like? Small Dick Faction. <laughs> Serious. Serious. Small, 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 small Dick Faction. Dick <laughs> what? Yo, let's turn this shit up. <laughs> Ooh, okay. On. How the fuck you say it? Said serious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Twenty eight. Faction. Something up. Yeah. Oh, well, we're back. Whatever. Everybody's here. You already know it. Ray Gay. Whatever. The fuck. Ray Brody. Novak's pregnant. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Brazil, bitch. Brazil. All right. We were there for. Uh, well, first of all, Don Vito. I I, I say that we're all uh, going on a vacation for Viva La Bam and uh, and Vito's like. How come you always get to choose where we get to go? I'm like, all right, Vito, where the fuck do you want to go? He's like, let's go to Atlantic City. I'm like, that's an hour of time, you fucking idiot. And, and he's like, all right, let's go to Brazil. There's all these nice girls there. I'm like, I bet you don't even know where the fuck Brazil is. They're like, yes, I do. It's in the Bahamas. He <laughs> thought it was in the Bahamas. So all I want to do is go to Brazil and, and sit on the beach and drink pina coladas and look at all the nice girls. Instead, I fly him straight to the Amazon jungle. They tortured him. Oh, I was the fucking dude. best. They fucking uh, tortured Don Vito like he's never been tortured. He was before. drunk as shit the whole time. <laughs> he, he, he had this coconut, and he cut a hole in the coconut, and he poured the coconut juice out and just drank beer out of it the whole <laughs> fucking trip. You know what? 30 beers a day out of that same coconut. Yeah, he said that's the best what? beer coaster. Oh, uh, yeah. He said that's the best beer coaster. Er, 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 yeah, yeah. But my favorite part about the whole trip happened, right? If you fast forward to the very end, okay, all the guys end up, there, there's there's this band called Charlie Brown Jr. They're the biggest fan of Brazil. Awesome. They're bigger than Eminem. Is here in Brazil, and so they end up giving a uh, a small performance for like Bam and his crew, and everybody, everybody's there having fun. And then there's this senior citizens group that comes up and dances with everyone. And Vito just starts molesting these senior citizens oh, who are there, who are there to sing these ancient ritual no. cultural songs. And it's like leave it to Vito, like you bring them to a culture that's that's beautiful and ritualistic, <laughs> and they have like you know <laughs> these customs that are thousands of years old. And then you bring Vito comes in and and. and 
he grabs their tits and asses while they're trying to do it. Leave it to Vito to fucking wreck it. For no, the best part. The, the best part is he survived Brazil because he we're Bob Byrne because was trying to make him an honest, honorary Brazilian by doing all these Brazilian things. So finally, when he conquered all of them, I say, okay, Vito, you get one wish. What do you want? He's like, I want a nice girl. I want a ten. So instead of giving him one ten, I gave him ten ones. <laughs> they were fucking hideous, and he was, dude, they were right there, and I'm just like. You know, what's wrong with these nice girls? He's like, Jesus Christ, give me 30 fucking beers and maybe I can say it. Like, and he said it right in oh, front of him. Not, not a six so pack, funny, dude. not 12, He's but not 30. He's not even 30. 30. Yet. <laughs> yeah, he looked older than they did. He's, he's not even close. <laughs> no, but, dude, I mean, plus, plus he's not he's not really the perfect picture of health to look at. So it's just like beggars can't be choosers, Vito. At one point in the trip, he demanded the producer give him new teeth, a new eye. Yeah, maybe I'll give him new teeth, a new eye, a new stomach. Dude, that guy needs to do everything, man. Yo, can we, can we, let's try to call Vito, can we? Yeah. Let's see if he's there. Uh, I'll, I'll write well, down the number. That, I gotta say, by the see, end I can't, I can't give Don Vito's number out, but if you want to call Ray, just call 610 Operators are standing by. Hey, no, no background. <laughs> we got a cell number. How about that? Shut the fuck, fuck up. Fuck you. Yo, your cell phone doesn't even work. You just got it like it three days work. ago. I tried to fucking call Take you. Take the phone call, bitch. It's right there. I had the whole day planned out. I was going to pick up Melissa in the Lambo at the airport. And I I'm, called you I'm stressing today. so hard because you're not back. And I thought that, I was like, dude, if he's at the fucking bar, I'm going to knock his teeth in. And I know how bad you care about no your back. teeth. I know. Dude, like, this he guy was, was on heroin mad. for ten years, and he, and he, like, all he talks about is how, dude, if you go to the dentist, man. Because he never goes. Just... <laughs> go. You probably got, like, Why are you so obsessed with the fucking dentist? His white teeth are important. On girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We're getting laid. No. And that helps. He likes white the teeth. ear cleaning thing. That's what Oh, yeah, that's, oh, dude, I tried to get laid. Speaking about getting laid, what happened to you last night? Oh man, last night. <laughs> so I, I get this bra right and meet her at the fucking bar. I, I mean, bring her this, home. this is the father I, of the year, ladies and gentlemen. the guy. I hope she has sex tuplets. Yeah, like, this guy. <laughs> Six faggot ass Novak. Well, this <laughs> one here. Roaming the streets, <laughs> eh? Somewhere in the world, there's a stork. Sick Novak with needles coming out of their fucking arms. I mean, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the universe, there's a stork carrying a baby labeled hepatitis C. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I hear if you have ten kids, you have to pay. Child support because you can't afford it out check. Oh, <laughs> what somewhere. check are you talking about? <laughs> yo, so. yo, wait, let me just say this before. The, the girl, listen, the, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> this is so good. The girl Novak, <laughs> the girl was with Novak last night. She had a boyfriend and she was planning on breaking up with him today. Today at noon. And, uh, <laughs> I knew. Yeah, like, how, how, do you, how do you schedule how breaking do you plan up? That? But, dude, oh. yo, listen. She, she's sitting there at the bar talking so much shit on her boyfriend. She, this is exact words that she said, and she was like saying it loud. She's like, <laughs> she's like, my boyfriend's such a pompous dickhead. <laughs> and then she's like, he's Irish, and I don't even fuck like I don't even like Irish people. I like I'm Italian Irish, people. Dude. He fucking sucks. I'm gonna break up with him. And here he is. Hi, honey. Like she tried to like act like she didn't say. Wait, me, he but heard the whole. He thing. heard it all, dude. Or was it just standing? He iron? happened to walk oh. in. She thought that he was like in bed or something. She sh he showed up at the same bar oh, to, just to go out and have a drink on his own, Every and, and happened there. to go to the same place. Dude, I died, and uh, they. She was like, he was like, oh, I want to talk to you, and then they would just argue with each other. This is the funniest part. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened? Did you I, wind I, up humping her? I get the bitch up to my room, right? And Hannah's <laughs> sleeping right next <laughs> to me, and I'm like, not, not the girl, <laughs> the bitch, right? <laughs> Bad boy, shut up when you say this. <laughs> so I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know that Hannah's sleeping in the room next to me. Little do I know, he hears every word verbatim. Did you have to listen to him? Fuck. How'd it go down? How'd it go down? <laughs> uh, first, yes. The first thing that started the whole night is the fucking TV comes on at like in the morning. All fucking no, Novak's such the worst roommate, oh, man. Like, worse. you'll try to be getting some nice sleep, and like, Novak will just come in at four in the morning, put the jukebox on full blast, it's and unreal. like, you have to listen to like sex for like so oh, long. Yeah. Did, did, no, it's not even that. So if, if it was sex, I could like jerk off to it and go to sleep. Dude, it's, it's like what was last night? What was last night? Last yeah. night was fucking like three and a half, maybe four hours. You this son jerk, of a bitch. You can jerk off to his noise. Oh hell, no, not him. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> my sakes. Had it last night. Tell what you heard, dude. But dude, it was fucking almost four hours of him, like, arguing with her so he could fuck her. <laughs> so finally, so finally, three, uh, three, he heard it, dude. So finally, look, three. Dude, she, the whole night, she's like, I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not that kind of girl. He's like, all right, fine, then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so three and a half hours into this four-hour fucking match, she finally breaks down because she's probably tired of my fucking voice and says, well, do you have a condom? I don't even, I don't use condoms, obviously. No, no, I, have you a, said no, no. I have a kid on the way. So no, 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 no. Condoms aren't my forte. That's not no. how it happened. So look, so look, I'm like, all right, fuck you, yeah, finally, I'm going to fuck this bitch. So I'm looking for a condom, right? I don't own a condom together. I'm like, I think I'm fucking ripping every drawer apart. If you yeah, know, it looks like a tornado has went through there, dude. <laughs> so he was throwing shit. <laughs> I was getting mad. I'm like, fucking throwing shit at the walls. <laughs> dude, dude, it was, it was so awesome noisy. Place. It was awesome. Dude, she was laughing. She's like, she's like, you have one in your bag? Picture, picture, <laughs> <laughs> picture in your bag. She's like, do you have a condom? And he's ripping the fucking room apart. Like, oh, where is my like so anxious? Dude, that's exact. No, no, that's exactly how it went down because I from my room to his room the door's jam is broken so you can see like light in there no, that's not fucking arms are I put <laughs> man unbelievable yo I put three hours into getting this bitch's pussy man so of course I'm furious <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible line he saved up <laughs> someone, play, someone play a song or something please man. father of the year <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Brandon Novak hey <laughs> hey Novak what happened at the bar the other night uh, uh, last I remember we had a contest going, oh, and, yeah. and that was uh, some bitches had to. Uh, <laughs> oh. You're picking up after me, bitches. Good work. Yeah, no, Novak. Novak is so filthy, dude. So loud. Yo, one time I walked by him, and, 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 and I just happened to pick up on the conversation that he was saying, and these are the words that he said. He was like, "So I was pitching his shit, smelling the dried pussy juice off my dick the night before, and that's, that's all I heard." Ew. 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 Like, Ew. Like, why Tell do you have the, to state the fact that you're taking a mean shit? Tell the story uh, behind and Or feeling pussy juice on And smell as the dirty fucking ill, dude. Why, why ew, would fuck. you ever beat around the bush like anything, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, met, I met the new PA today that works in your show. No. I'm like, damn, you're fucking hot. I'd like to fuck you if you want. And she's like, I can't believe you said it. I'm like, you should probably respect me for being honest instead of saying I like your hair. <laughs> You better love me instead of hate me because I'm going to tell you how I feel and it's the truth. What, like, what did she say? <laughs> She's nervous. She so stays I away. <laughs> Bob so over I here. I so it worked. <laughs> I'm the week. Watch. This, this girl, she just started working today on the show. And the first thing, Novak probably didn't even introduce him to no. her. He just goes, damn, babe, you're fucking hot. If you want to fuck, my room's up. <laughs> well, I pulled up. But he's serious. He's not kidding. I pulled up, oh, in, your, no. I pulled up in your fucking Mercedes. So the bitch by God damn, who's this dude? You left Mercedes? <laughs> God damn. Because Bam, Bam almost knocked fucking Novak's teeth out because he let him say this. He pulls me out in the middle of a shot. He's like, Franz, come here. Fucking grabs him by the shoulder, yanks me out of the door, and he's like, he's like, I need advice. <laughs> Novak took the Mercedes. He's not back yet. I, I need to, I, he has the keys to the Lambo. I need the Lambo to get to the airport to pick up Melissa. So, what should I do? A, knock his teeth out. <laughs> B, get him two cell phones and a pager. Or C, am I overreacting? I was like, and, and Novak, I didn't know how I was gonna I was gonna react to that, but luckily for your ass, you fucking pulled up at that exact. He forgot to mention it's like about tour ride. I went to the fucking car wash in <laughs> Fraser for him to make sure his car's clean. You uh, fucking faggot! Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even use it for my own benefit. Who takes three hours to get a fucking car wash? Oh, he uh, Westchester's ten minutes away. Oh, I, didn't know, oh, I went to Fraser. Oh, I was a yeah. kid. Like, uh, three hours, Fraser. you can make it to Baltimore and back. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that car. <laughs> you were me. Oh, we got a minute. <laughs> you met some fast company, didn't you? Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I have two fine ladies here. Just met me 10 minutes ago, and now I'm naked with a small dick. This, this is the best part. Yo, I was telling Melissa about, about Novak, and I'm just like, dude, he humps a new girl every night. I don't know how he does it, but, like, that, he just does. And, uh, and sure enough, we're outside waiting for the beer to come. Novak pulls in with, like, two girls that he just picked up from the street. I just met him. Let's just... And they're here right now. They're here now. <laughs> two girls who go to East Goshen High School. They're here now. <laughs> <laughs> East Goshen High School. <laughs> so look. So look. We have two freshmen from <laughs> East Goshen <laughs> High School here. Oh, oh, I get older. They stay the same up. age. <laughs> so here's the deal, ladies. I'm going to call it out because I'm very straightforward. I pull out to the end of the driveway. They're making a U-turn in your driveway at the end. 
And I'm like, ladies, where are you going? What's going on? What the fuck's going on? And like, uh, do you know where this road is? I'm like, let's get real. You're two hot girls with short skirts on. You probably know yeah. Ben Margera, millionaire. Um, you want to come to the house. So be around. Right like, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I'm like, well, get the fuck in the truck. Right, I'm going to go get beer. Get my hair. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Hey, shut up. Hey, babe. <laughs> shut up. Hey. Ten minutes later, they tell me the truth. And yeah. the truth is, I got herpes. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But it wasn't looking for a road. You got lost. I don't know. It doesn't matter. She you know what's the funny? Here, here's the I best. Here's the best thing ever. People <laughs> knock on the fucking door, and and and, and, and no no no. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> they, they, they knock on the door and they're just like, oh, I'm trying to find uh, how to get here. I'm like, <laughs> you happen to pick this fucking this house Random drive that ride. says no trust anything with a gate and like and a pair of skate shoes on. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, wouldn't you go to like a corner house on like like why would you pick this house? It's like I hey, love get it. Real, well, dude. Right, don't ask directions, asshole. <laughs> that one time we were skating in front of your driveway. And these, these dudes just like pulled up in the car and they just stopped and we just looked at them like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And they're like pulling like a mini me, like just trying to turn around and sit <laughs> Whatever, G. Oh, yeah, bro. G. 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 that G. Nice. G. I mean, Yo, sorry, remember, uh, David, did you have yesterday, there was, there's these people just sitting there at the end of the driveway so weird. for three hours waiting for us to pull in, and then they were from West Virginia or something. What was that about? Such is the price of stardom, my young friend. What about the dudes that came <laughs> out? Of the Such is the price of stardom. Treat. <laughs> there's that word again. There's people that came to your house to trick or treat. They're like 30 year old dudes that came to your house. Who was your I wanted to go south, and I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing about that whole situation is that two and a half years ago, I was fucking sleeping in an abandoned house, pissing and shitting in buckets, shooting what? dope. And now I pull out of a driveway in a Hummer, and ladies are waiting. And he's still <laughs> shooting dope. Go figure, man. I'm living the lap of fucking luxury. They're not, but they're not <laughs> waiting for you, though. Ladies, I don't give a fuck who they're waiting for. I'll, I can get where I fit in, brother. <laughs> they're not waiting for you. Uh, he, <laughs> Whatever that waits for, it ain't he turns a lot, it I'll into that. that. <laughs> I, I, that's, you know, there's fucking benefits to fucking hang with a millionaire. <laughs> I mean, I'm no fool of that. Father of the year. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> I love, I love how he name drops too because he does it the right oh, so bad. You do, you do do it the right oh, way. Yeah. No, he does it almost the right way. No, I do. It. <laughs> okay, I will meet, we'll meet some broads, right? And I'll be like, uh, I'm like, ladies, come here, and we'll start talking. And I'm like, come party with us. Like, well, where are you going? I'm like, um, I don't know, somewhere I'm from. Yo, Ben, where do we live at? And they hear the yo bam, and they're like, oh my god, it's fucking millionaire yeah. celebrity. And then I'm in there. That's a genius. <laughs> Did you see how he just kissed the microphone? Yeah. You got so excited. You got so excited. Just thinking about name dropping where he knows he's going to get that ass. He can taste uh, it. Check if he's getting excited just, down there. You were tasting oh, it happening as you were talking about it. He was tasting it happening. Wait, wait, no back's getting a hard on right from Ray. He is. It's fucking bad, man. Let me see. My dick is not growing anymore. Yet. I'm playing rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it's it hasn't grown an inch. Turbo Negro, ladies and gentlemen. This is an, dude. This is the best fucking song lineup <laughs> ever. We Turbo have brand new CKY. We have Cradle of Filth, Devil Woman, and then we have Turbo Negro. This yeah. album also isn't out yet. Yeah. High five, life partner. Seriously, yeah. life partner. Yeah, bam, I haven't heard it yet. Hotel. No. Bam, bam, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm sure it's good because you say it's good. Not good, babe. You said big big. That's why you. That's why you keep me around. Hotel. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I'm fucking every single up on the show, but I don't care, because I'll be whatever you say. Okay, play a song, please, because I'm dying to hear it, because I haven't heard it, but I know it's awesome. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not even impersonating play you, asshole. Oh, I'm making fun of Novak. What are you so no, fucking mad Novak's about, Ray? AKA Coattails. Coattails Novak. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Rick, why are you oh. mad at me? Let's play this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, uh, let's play it. Deco, yeah. give this intro here. It's not, oh, it's... If you know UCK, there's like a tongue twister to this song because it says F U C K and then it says if U C K. And it's, he's talking about a girl from UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> you just said 12 letters. Yeah, I don't know. I missed all that. Just listen. Okay, play the song. I'm trying to do it. Radio Bam Series 28 Facts. I know what you're saying. Up the hi fi kids. Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Bam. On Series 28 Faction. Do it now, kill me. I'm here. Do it. <laughs> I'm here, what are you waiting for? Uh -huh. Oh, look, there's disarray. Yeah, we actually call Don Vito. You want to call Don Vito? Oh, no, yeah, why wouldn't we? Call that fast. Let's no. get, hey, let's get predictions about your baby from Vito. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> good, good idea. Uh, Vito's on the line. Yeah. Is he? He is. Let's talk to him. Vito. Get him to make predictions about Novak's baby. Uh, we're going to come out with ten heads. Vito. <laughs> let's make sure we don't hey, trip over each other. Hey. Yo, you fat fuck, what are you doing? I'm fucking listening to this stupid show. 
What do you think of it? <laughs> I'm a stupid, stubborn bazooka. <laughs> so you were listening I'm in? Like, I don't know what the hell you should do. You don't make any sense. <laughs> you, you were listening in? I was listening to it, but it's different than what the hell I'm talking about right now. Dude, Vito, you were out of your mind in Brazil. You dude, were hell Vito, the whole you time. were hell on earth, dude. You drank so many beers. Just just not. Of, what? I was on vacation. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you weren't on vacation. You were working. We were filming no, a fucking no, show, and you were a shitbag. Hey, <laughs> did you like those uh, those ten, ten nice girls that I got for you? The ugliest girls ever. The ten nice girls. Yeah, ten ones. That was real funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you, Vito, why didn't you fuck them? Ew. What did you say? One of them hookers like you had. <laughs> oh, you do that. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was somebody else that did it. Oh, you, yeah, did you have a transvestite? No, I thought it up. It was a real, but I was too late. <laughs> it was a real. Now, everyone got to hear this. Before we went out one night, first beer of the night, Don Vito was like, Yo, Joe, you got any Viagras? And just ate a Viagra right off the bat. We went out 18 dudes <laughs> thick and no girls, and Vito's on Viagra. <laughs> Dude, Vito, you were such a piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh god. You still have that. the end of the night. It was a good night. The last night there. <laughs> you, were, you were drinking out of that coconut out beers the whole time. And dude, Vito, you, Vito was so trash that we wouldn't let him get beers at the at the venue. And uh, he he, uh, we told the guy not to sell him beer. And uh, he got so mad that he went behind the fucking counter and took two beers. And, he's, and he just threw money that. at the guy. He's like, fuck you. I'm he playing. overpowered the guy to get the beers. The guy tried to stop him. He he like pinned the guy against the wall oh, with his hat, not even using his arms. He like pins the guy against the thing and just grabs a beer. Like you can't do that. I want what I like, and I dumped it in a coconut. I dumped it in a Coca Cola can to trick Troy. So well, <laughs> well, Vito, you're, you're you're definitely a class act. I love it. Vito. Though, it yeah, Vito, time. man, I had a great Vito, time here. Vito, 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 He's all right. <laughs> We're plugging our own show. <laughs> what <Split> losers? <laughs> where where right. are you, you fat fuck? I want to know. You're drinking butt slack out of the coconut? I went to the store and got a coconut tonight, so I can pretend I was on the beach again. <laughs> did, did you like that? Did you like that Brazilian beer, Bohemia? Reenacted my experience. What'd you think of that Brazilian beer? Skull, man, skull rock. Look at that beer. I got a can left, actually. Remember? Remember memorabilia? Memorabilia, can. Just say. Yo, how was that hard rock, Vito, man? Oh my God, Vito! What are you talking about? Is this shit hard rock? Vito made the biggest deal about going to the hard rock cafe. He goes to Brazil. All he wants to do is do the most American thing possible. That's go to the hard rock cafe. Okay. I'm like, what do you want to go there for? Why are you bothering? Everyone's like, oh, I gotta get a hard rock shot glass. So I'm like, dude, is that what? Is that what you gotta get? Because it was signed by Bruce Springsteen. Oh, excuse me. So you want limited edition Bruce Springsteen stamped? Are we good? I had smash Jesus, that little statue I had. What the hell did you bring me to this goddamn place? Yeah, dude, I thought I didn't get on the plane with you because I thought it was going to wreck because, <laughs> you, you know, the big Christo statue? Of, oh, my God. Dude, Vito bought one as a souvenir and he got so mad at a hard rock because it sucked so bad and it smelled like <laughs> shit and piss. It there was no like girls at, at all. There was no one even there. It was the worst thing ever. I'm like, Vito, I just rounded up God. the troops to have this big fucking party <laughs> and it, and there's no one here. So he got so mad that he smashed the fucking <laughs> thing. I'm like, Vito was so <laughs> embarrassed that... that after three days of begging everyone to go to the Hard Rock, Bam gets up a posse to go, Bob Burnquest included, and the whole place reeks like vomit. It takes 45 minutes to get the first round of beers. Everyone got sick from the vomit smell and had to evacuate. It was the fucking funniest thing ever. <laughs> and Don, Vito, and Don Vito got a shot glass. No, he take, he, we're sitting there trying to drink. He takes a statue of fucking the Christa, the statue of Christ, smashes it and says, this is the worst God ever, and fucking it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I couldn't believe it. And he was like, he was like, what kind of God would make a place this shitty? <laughs> oh, God. Vito, but God still loves you. Ladies, the band would have to sit in the middle of them, you would have nuts. Vito, you're going to hell. Definitely. Going to hell? You're going to see all you down there too, so I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to hell, Vito. You're going to wind up in hell.
But this is hell. With all the crazy shit you're doing. <laughs> Vito, but at, at the end of the trip, you really insisted that you would rather have gone to Wildwood than spent two whole weeks in Brazil. Like, you would have, oh, like Wildwood better. Is that true? I take him all the way to Brazil. It's so far. Yeah, we fly him first fucking class all the way there, and he's just like, they have all this stuff in Chai Chest. He hates yeah. everything. <laughs> like, he thinks that everything, like if I flew him all around the world, there's something that has to do with Chai Chester, so why leave Chai Chester? Okay, quit it. Yeah, the same stuff, man. You, you, I'm not impressed. I haven't been the one place I've been impressed. So. Vito, okay, what we're do gonna, you like? We're going to quiz you, man. Okay, Vito, if I could fly you one of three places, hey, hey, where hey, would you go? There. Rio, Wildwood, <laughs> or Dewey Beach? Which one? Please fuck me. Dude, he, dude, Vito, you were like raping this fucking chick at the bar, dude. It was so bad. I was, you were so drunk, and and you kept kept saying, "Love me, fuck me," to her. We don't even have time to tell all the Vito stories, like about how yeah, I can't even uh, food uh, and and it out, man. Oh yeah, because Vito got his stomach stapled. Vito got so sick because he drinks so much. Are you hanging up on me, you fat fuck? Fuck up here to throw the same shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, hang hang the phone up. We don't want to talk to your ass anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, see ya. Later, Vito. Vito chews up his food because his, staple, his stomach got stapled, and he says his stomach's like big enough to hold the food, but he's still addicted to chewing he and eating. He likes the flavor. So he, he likes like, the flavor, so he chews up big handfuls of nuts, spits them out in his hand, puts them in at the nice trays, restaurant on yeah. the sides of plates, underneath tables, no, and then okay. the waiter always comes back and inevitably sees this big pile of chewed up, like this... Big club of things, disgusting. and 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 the funny thing is to see the waiter's face at <laughs> at the moment they it's realize like that they are looking at a ball of chewed up fucking food. That it's well, their yeah. responsibility yeah. to clean up. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk. We gotta talk about this later. It's just too much to oh fucking say God. about Vito's new eating habits, man. And he's the type of guy that like he'll go to a smorgasbord <laughs> and and he'll like he won't feel like he got his money's worth. He would rather eat himself to feeling sick. Rather than like just having a little bit because he needs to get his money's worth. But he's not even eating, he's just chewing up the food and fucking spitting it out in balls like a goddamn, I don't even like an insect. <laughs> it's so worth. fucking sick. I would hate to say this, but it's time to go. Fuck. No. Sake. It uh, is. Uh, say goodbye, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everybody. You need a two hour show. You. Novak, you gonna go to the bar and get humped by some new girl? Why the fuck wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I just got a bitch pregnant. Why not? I All gotta right. celebrate. Yeah, let's go, to, let's go to Kill Dares. All right, Sex I'm playing a hymn song. Up. Death yeah. is in love with us. This is devoted to the lovely Melissa, who I just picked up at the airport from California. Goodbye. Yeah, uh -huh. bitch. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later.